South County. They terrorized other Orange County High School students. Chris Flatchford says it may have started as a joke, but now no one's laughing. Chris. One friend describes them all as nice kids who made some bad choices. But as their reputation for intimidation grew, cops and prosecutors came after them just like any other gang. Two grappling teenagers frozen on the pavement in a ball of twisted arms and legs. A headbutt breaks the stalemate. Break his f***ing arm. Then a takedown moments later brings cheers and a rush from the crowd. A hand is formed in the shape of an L, signifying the Lords, the Lords of South County. Their man is now on top. But for the Lords, that's not enough. Just listen. Hey, admit that the Lords own you and everything's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Just say it. Lords own you. Say Lords. That's all we want to hear. Orange County Deputy DA Lance Jensen calls the Lords a bully intimidation gang. The Lords own you. I mean, well, what do you think that? That's total degradation, total bullying, total intimidation, total subversion. Almost like, almost like domestic violence, where you, where you, uh, verbally, you know, torment your uh, victim. In fact. Investigators say the Lords go looking for fights. Little Lords purposely agitate the unsuspecting. Then big Lords or the fighters come in to deliver the blows. Often innocent victims are targeted for a fist right out in the open. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> let's record it. Record what? Hey, let's record it with you. The Lords taught them. Okay. <laughs> you got a pussy. And the Lords get it all on videotape to laugh about it later. Hey, let's record it. According to law enforcement reports obtained by Fox 11, here at Dana Hills High School, students say the Lords threaten and intimidate everyone. Cliff Beaver's younger brother would become one of the Lords' victims. It's ridiculous. And uh, it's uncalled for. And... Uh, it's lucky uh, that um, the judicial system is very lenient on uh, white, rich boys from uh, Orange County. In fact, home for most of the Lords is here in the foothills of Laguna Nigel and in gated communities in Dana Point, where the average house costs in the four to $500,000 range. Lord. Detectives say there are about 30 Lords of South County gang members. A regretful Robert Emerson is the only one who agreed to talk with us. We go to parties and get hyped up and stuff, and I don't know, it was kind of cool getting the feeling of respect and stuff, but it totally wasn't worth it, and people getting hurt. And, and Lords causing trouble. You have to break the lock. Breaking into this mall after hours, taking a security cart for a joyride. You're not going to check with me, Chris. Leaving a trail of vandalism that ultimately runs into thousands of dollars in damages. Always in the name of the Lords. Lords. They downplay it, and they don't understand the yeah. you know, legally what yeah. a gang is. And so to them, it's all fun and games. It's almost midnight as a couple of Lords sneak into the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Laguna Nigel. They load up a garbage bag with rolls of toilet paper, toiletries, and towels. I'm gonna get some towels. Then split with their bag full of booty from the Ritz. The Ritz could afford it, one thief would later tell police. I knew it was wrong, but I kept doing it. I'm sorry. Afterward, they pass around a cigar-sized marijuana joint. I smell bad. Let me smoke it. Boast of their Lord's affiliation. Lord. And within the hour, they get the basketball hoop too. The stolen Ritz toilet paper decorates a house. So fun. Yeah. One Lord boldly even makes a video out of the Ritz burglary for a school project. For a reason the school chooses not to explain, he gets an A. But detectives say in time, the Lord's rise in arrogance was matched by an escalation of violence. And as two 18-year-olds pull into this Lake Forest gas station to buy cigarettes, nearly a dozen lords attack from all sides. One of the victims 
is Cliff Beaver's brother. That's not beating. That's not a fight. That's a, that's a brutal attack. Mike Beaver, already down and helpless, takes a direct kick to the head. He has a metal plate in his skull from a childhood accident. If he gets hit there, hard enough, he's a vegetable or he's dead. The driver, Tom Coward, is knocked unconscious, pulled from his truck, beaten and kicked repeatedly. A journal kept by one of the lords says the guy could have died. They were one hit, potentially one hit or one kick away from a homicide. And they're very lucky. One by one during the last year, 10 lords plead out to assault charges. Yes, Your Honor. Only Micah Katz, described by cops as the most violent, got prison time. Eight years. It's just hard for me now I'm going to prison. I've always been a big tent never, never, I'm a mama's boy. I cried in Titanic. How I many guys do you know that cried in Titanic? Katz broke probation, did drugs, and threatened yet another kid. Let's do this plea on the Wyrick case. Jason Wyrick, the last Lord's holdout, was sentenced several weeks ago to nine months in jail. I hope that Mr. Wyrick realizes you know, very easily ended my life with what he had done. Mike Beaver, the victim with a metal plate in his head, was there to see the last Lord sentenced. I just hope him and the rest of the guys realize what they did was a very violent and brutal act. Wyrick looks straight ahead. You have to recognize that it is your own fault and why you are here. As Tom Coward, the teenager beaten unconscious, had some words of his own. So I hope in the end of it all that you do come out hopefully a changed person and a little wiser. Detectives say former Lord Robert Emerson, his fighting now confined to training for the mixed martial arts, already appears to be a changed person. If I could redo it all, I'd totally t do it totally differently, you know, give a thought to the kids, the victims, and the their families. After six months in jail, his advice to other teens comes as quickly as his right hand. Yeah, stop and think. So, I mean, if we'd just done that and something like this wouldn't happen. This night, Emerson can be seen with his arms up telling other lords to stop. Now he's saying it again. Just realize, you know, what we've done wasn't